How is Wendy Williams doing? Wendy's story is not over, according to producers, it's not over yet. Where is Wendy Williams? A multi-part lifetime documentary series produced by Mark Ford and Erica Hansen was a healing project that originated from a supportive place. The couple discussed their high-profile project about Wendy Williams and what it would mean for it to win an Emmy Award with Etz Dater Bahar at the FYC event An Evening with Lifetime, Conversations on Controversies, which was hosted at the Grove in Hollywood on Wednesday. Oh, that would imply the entire world, I believe. Not just to Wendy, but also to us, Hansen said. I can't even imagine the impact that would have on her. Hansen stated that Williams saw the docuseries as a chance to be able to tell her story so honestly and truthfully, and to be a catalyst for change. Williams co-produced the movie with her son, Kevin Hunter Jr. It would be an amazing tribute to Wendy to get an Emmy nomination for something she was an executive producer on that allowed her to tell her story, Ford stated. The four-and-a-half-hour documentary follows the sequence of events that culminated in Williams being placed in 2022 under the guardianship of a court-appointed guardian. In addition, it sheds light on the TV personality's health issues and personal turmoil. These include her October 2017 live TV fainting, which she attributed to dehydration, her February 2018 show announcement of having Graves' disease, which required her to take a three-week leave of absence, her December 2018 shoulder fracture, and her handling of her highly publicized split from her then-husband, Kevin Hunter, whom she divorced in January 2020 after 25 years of marriage.